Hello, this is Cosmic Head, and today we will learn how to make players choices in visual novels in Renpy. And I think that players choices is the most important part of any visual novel, because uh, there are a lot of visual novels that have only this mechanic, they don't have any other complicated things like uh, inventory or battle system or whatever. And you can make a complete uh, full visual novel using only uh, choices. So let's see how it works. Here is our st stupid visual novel. And to understand how to make choices, we need to understand what are labels. And here we see label start. When we click start in the main menu, then Renpy searches for label start in the code and then executes the code line by line from top to bottom. And if we want to go to some place in our script, if we want to skip uh, some parts, we need to add other labels and tell Renpy to go to other label uh, after some part of the game uh, or after uh, some player choice. Uh, let's see what we have here. Bobby ask. Bobby says that he is so beautiful. And why no one likes him? Is it because I kill people? Asks Bobby and then Susie. This is Susie says, no, it's because you smell bad. And let's add some choice after this line. Let's add two options, what Bobby can do after this. Uh, he can, uh, I don't know, kill Susie or maybe, I don't know, uh, kiss her. Yeah, that uh, sounds very reasonable. For this, let's add two more labels. One label will be executed when we click on kill Susie and the other label will be executed when we click on kiss Susie. So we write label and let's just uh, write it like this. Kill Susie. And after this we add four spaces and write return. Return indicates the end of this label and in this instance it will get us back to the main menu. And I very very advise you to add return statement after at the end of the any label you add. So if something goes wrong, your game will just return to the main menu. And let's add another label. Label kiss Susie. Here, when we choose to kill Susie, we will see uh, the next text. Um, first, we can Hide Susie. With dissolve. And let's say uh, Bobby ate Susie. And, uh, and got her powers. And when we click on kiss Susie, let Susie say, get away, you freak. So now we have two labels, kill Susie and kiss Susie. And we need to add a menu. That means some buttons to click on to go to these uh, labels. Because now when we start the game, we'll see this line. Now it's because you smell bad. Then we will see, then Renpy will see return statement and the game will end just here. You smell bad, click and the game ends because we can't reach these two labels without a menu. And to add a menu, we write menu and colon. This is our menu. Let's add four spaces and then 
everything that is under the menu statement and is indented by four spaces is part of this menu. This how it works in Python or in RenPy. And first we need to add our prompt or our questions. Question, what should Bobby do? This question will appear in the uh, bottom of the screen in the text dialog. And then we should add two choices, two or more choices if you want. One choice will be kill Susie. Then we add colon. We don't need colon after the question, only after each player choice. Second option is kiss Susie colon again and now we must specify what we should do after we click on one of these options to do this of course if we see colon at the end of the line we need to add four more spaces on the next line to indicate that this code is inside this option and if we want to kill Susie we must go to label kill Susie. And the command to do this is jump. Jump to some label. In this instance is label kill Susie. And here under kiss Susie we add four more spaces and write jump kiss Susie. When we click on kill Susie, Renpy sees this jump kill Susie command and will go to label kiss kill Susie and will execute this code and Bobby will eat Susie. When we click on kiss Susie, Renpy will search for kiss Susie label, label kill Susie and Susie will say get away. Let's see how it looks in the game. We start the game, Bobby is very beautiful likes him is because he kills people then we see Susie and then we click and we see our two options kill Susie and kiss Susie and this our prompt what should Bobby do that we specified under the menu command you don't have to use jump command uh, in your menu options you can uh, write any code you want uh, you can uh, show pictures, hide pictures, add some dialogues or whatever. Or you can jump to other labels and continue game from this part. So let's click on Kill Susie. Susie disappears because Bobby ate her. And then we click again and we go to the main menu because we reached this return statement. That way you need return statement after the uh, any label because if we didn't have this then Renpy would have executed this line so Suzy would say get away you freak after this you can uh, jump to some other label like let's create a label uh, called after choice and here we'll just say <laughs> the end return and in both labels kill Susie and uh, kiss Susie we jump to this after choice label like this you can branch your visual novel at some point and then go to one plot line uh, after that so if we click kiss Susie she says get away you freak and we still go to the end if we kill Susie she disappeared but we still go to after choice and see the end well that's pretty easy I think so that's all for our menus and well I think you can now create a full-blown visual novels because you can create any player choices you want and you can have different endings so you can make 
pretty complex visual novels with this. But that's not all, of course, because there are a lot of stuff we will learn later. That's all for today. Goodbye.